so hello and welcome everyone today we'll be discussing yet another topic that is accuracy and precision which are very important in the context to clinical biochemistry laboratory accuracy accuracy is the closeness of the obtained result with the true value for any parameter that is being measured or tested the factors that affect the accuracy of a test procedure is the personnel who is performing the test the calibration of the equipment the quality of the equipment and the reagents and the environment or the room temperature and humidity of the laboratory what is true value and what is its relationship with accuracy so true value of any analyte is a measurement that is obtained with difficulty so the measurement of true value is difficult so what do we do to obtain this true value we repeat a test say 10 times or more than 10 times and then we find the mean value of these tests this mean value is known as the true value so whenever we are doing the sample of a known concentration the value should be close to this true value and if it is not close to this true value the gap that is present between the true value and the observed value or the measured value is known as the error in measurement so now the error helps us to find out the accuracy of the testing equipment and the personnel that is performing the test so this is the relationship between true value and accuracy precision so now let us look at what is precision precision is the repeatability of the measuring process precision of an instrument is the repeatability in its result on doing the measurement for the same sample for the same analyte again and again if the instrument is not precise it will give widely varying results for the same parameter when measured again and again the set of observations will scatter about the mean but they will not be close to the true value the factors that affect the precision of measurement are similar to those of the factors affecting accuracy so now let us get a better understanding of what is accuracy and precision by plotting it in a graph so here is this graph uh, where there are 10 observations taken for a particular sample now after taking the 10 observation the mean has been plotted and this mean is known as the true value now this true value will be compared when the technician or the equipment performs the same test in the lab so when it is being performed in the lab by the technician and the equipment the values obtained for the same parameter is far away from the true value so the average the new average obtained is not same as the average for true value so it is different from the true value so that is why the gap between the new average and the true value is known as error now this is a diagram which will tell you that such a result where the new average is different from the true value showing an error is precise because the same result is being obtained again and again so it is repeatable but it is not accurate because the true value is not obtained so the results are precise but not accurate they are precise and inaccurate now let us see the next graph so this is the next graph once again 10 observations have been taken for a particular parameter and the average uh, of those 10 observation is calculated which is known as the true value and after that the same test is being performed on that sample by the laboratory by our laboratory so the values obtained here are you can see that they are 
close to the true value. However, they are not same. The average obtained is not same as that of the true value, but they are close to it. So, such a performance is known as accurate because it is close to the true value. So, this is close to the true value. However, it is not repeatable, so it is not precise. So, such a result is known as accurate, accurate but not precise. Now, let us look at the third graph. And here you can see that once again 10 observations have been taken for a particular parameter and the, average, the true value has been calculated by calculating the mean. And now let us see when the lab performs it, where do we get the values? So you see that the values are on the true value. So the new average and the true value are same. And therefore, such a result where the repeatability is high and always the true value is obtained most of the times, then it is known as the test being accurate and precise. Now let us look at the difference between accuracy and precision. So now let us look at the difference, difference between accuracy and precision. Accuracy is the closeness of the measured value to the true value whereas precision is the repeatability or the reprodu reproducibility of the same result. So a result is said to be accurate when it is close to the true value whereas a result is said to be precise when it is repeatable. So accuracy of a measurement can be accurate but not necessarily precise and a measurement can be precise but not necessarily accurate which we saw in the previous slide with the help of the graphs and the diagram. It can be determined with a single measurement so accuracy can be measure, measured with a single test and uh, by doing it just once we can come to know whether the system, the machine or the technician is accurate or not. While in the case of precision, there needs to be several measurements in order to determine whether the system or the lab is precise or not. Now, accuracy may be affected by systematic errors, whereas precision may be affected by random errors. Thank you. Keep listening and watching my channel.